Good morning, friends. I'm Kat, and you are in my edible garden. Uh, today, I just wanted to have a quick look around and a chit chat. Nothing special. We're day four of lockdown and homeschooling. I'm having a day off. No, we're not day four, we're day five. Oh God, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, because I'm working tonight. So tonight is uh, the start of my three night shifts. I work weekend nights, so um, yeah. Mama is off the clock today. Uh, oh, the light frost we've been having killed my spud experiment. I don't know. It might. Some green still in there. It might come back to life. We shall see. I'm going to leave it there for another week or so. See if there's any movement. If not, I'll pull it out. It was only an experiment. I chucked some manky potatoes from my larder in there. <laughs> to see what they would do. Potatoes do not like frost. Even light frost, which is what we've been having. They don't like it. Uh, I've been letting my children dig. Normally my garden is out of bounds for the kiddies little diggy hands and fingers and spades and things. But as we're on lockdown and if I don't let the kids do something they will go crazy and hence drive me crazy. I've given them a diggy spot. So this has been dug and I don't like to dig my garden um, so they've walked on it they've dug it there's compacted bits there's zhuzhed up bits it's um not ideal but what is at the minute hey eh? put down some of my rabbit bedding down there because if you didn't know a rabbit poop can go straight onto your garden it does not need um, composting down like chicken manure does so um wang that stuff straight on there and it's a good cover as well and then you just make a little hole plant your whatever my what's going here this year mm, cabbages and i'm doing it normally i would do it in rows across this way but this year i'm doing it lengthways because it just makes more sense to go like that and then have a gap and do another row whereas if i do it the other way i can do a couple of rows here and then a gap and then some stuff there it just doesn't make as much sense so i'm flipping my big low bed around this year hey girlies hi 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 walkie docky you're not looking very happy sweet pea what's going on love hey what's the matter what's going on you go away lady go away what's the matter I have to pull her out in a minute and I'll give her a check over, see what's happening. None of the other girls are being horrible to her, so she's alright in there for a minute. Uh, yeah, with um, <clears throat> my eldest we did a maths and horticulture session where we transplanted all our spiss bledine kale. Uh, we did that a few days ago and they're actually all of them are quite happy i think we've got about 50 or so plants and these plants get massive apparently <laughs> so so um <clears throat> i may be giving away some kale in these times of uncertainty and strangeness we haven't been able to get what we want to get so here I wanted to have a bean arch, a pea arch. Let's go from there over down into there. And I found the perfect one, but uh, I'm not going to buy it because I don't know if it's going to be delivered. It's not really on the emergency list, to be fair. So, and because that was on my uh, list of things I was going to do this year. I went ahead and sewed 
a truckload of peas. Now I've got to think of somewhere else to put them. I mean I could put them up here but my dinosaurs will eat them <laughs> and I don't want them to do that. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about that and also up here above my gate I wanted to have we're going to have an angular arch so what's going to happen is it's going to run like that it's going to go up and across and then it's all going to come down into this piece of this bed and that's where I'm going to grow my winter squash they're going to start here and they're going to go all the way across over to here but again it's not on the emergency list and luckily because it's winter squash I haven't sown anything for that yet so I might sow a couple and put them in the ground normally we let them trail up over the um, blue the big blue so I might do that again this year uh, yeah there was really no point to this video today I just fancy coming down having a little chit chat and a wander I will do a full garden tour and talk about everything that I've got going. I've got quite a bit of stuff here. Um, well, something I, I'm a bit unsure of is these. These are my Malabar red and green kales. Now, I sowed them over a week ago and I've got no movement at all on them. And I only bought them at the end of last year, ready for this year. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with the seed. So I have no idea what's going on there. If anyone's um, had issues with Mal Malabar spinach, let me know. Because I was really disappointed because these are frost tolerant and drought tolerant. They're like wonder plants. And I've got the red and the green. I was looking forward to having them growing all nice and tall and giving me spinach forever. But... Uh, there's a lot of seed in there and not one of them has germinated so I am not impressed I might have to go back to where I got them from and um, have a bit of a whinge I don't like whinging but um, and especially now at the minute it's all a bit weird at the moment isn't it so I bought them out because I thought maybe it's too hot in the polytunnel so I'm going to bring them outside I'm give them a water today and because uh, they're looking a bit dry but they're moist underneath I just don't, I just don't know frustrating that was my only spinach and I've got nothing now
a bag of corn and a chick 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 and they all come running good girls good girls yes you are